Hi, I'm Kimberly Schneiderman, Senior Practice Development Manager at Ronstadt Rysmart here at the Weekly Fit. When you qualify a statement, you're making exceptions to what you say, often making the statement less harsh and less direct. Consider these two statements. Since it's raining, we will spend the day cleaning the house versus today might be a good day to clean the house a little unless the rain stops. Notice how the second statement takes the pressure off actually doing any chores at all. The second statement tells us we can stop cleaning if the rain stops. Often softening your tone makes sense. Softening your words and your approach makes sense also. But when it comes to a job search, you want to use stronger language. Qualifying statements can communicate lack of confidence in what you're saying, or worse yet, lack of enthusiasm for a position. Don't qualify statements when what you really need is more information. Here are a few examples of qualifying statements to avoid and what you can say instead. So instead of saying, I'd be interested in that kind of a job, but I'm really looking to stay in this area. Try saying, yes, that position sounds right up my alley. Let's talk more about it. This allows you to gather more information rather than ending the conversation or making the other person feel like you would need to be talked into the idea. Next, instead of saying, Boy, I've never worked on that platform before. I've always used this other popular platform for those kind of projects. You can say, you know, this reminds me of a project I completed last year. Let me tell you about it. Now you're making a connection between the project experience you possess and the project that they need done. And instead of saying, gosh, I don't know anything about that kind of work. My expertise is more in the lines of, you know, this other thing. Try saying, I'm sure there are several ways my experience and skills will translate well to this environment. This approach allows you to focus on possibilities and the ways your experience meets their needs. And someday, as people and companies start to revisit corporate travel, you might find yourself being asked about it. Instead of saying, you know, if I have to travel as part of this job, I'm okay with it. You might try something like, yes, I am ready to travel and look forward to being able to connect with customers face-to-face. -face. By speaking in straightforward and concrete terms, you'll communicate confidence and avoid diluting your message. As you prepare for your networking meetings and interviews, think about your past conversations. When have you used those types of qualifiers? Consider how you can adjust your message to be more positive and definite in future conversations. Thank you for joining me today. For more ideas in your career transition, be sure to tune in to upcoming webinars.